Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on roots and networks. It says, on the occasion of Children's Day, chocolates were distributed at Sophia Convent School and the number of students present in each class is a multiple of 10. Okay, so we need to take multiples of 10 in this case. And it is given that they are distributed from school office to all the classrooms. The number of school students present in some classrooms is given to us. Like for example, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 6th and 10th, it is given to us. The following figure shows the route through which the chocolates are distributed to each classroom. Okay, so first from school office to 1st, 2nd, 3rd and then from 1st to 4th and 5th, from 2nd to 5th and 6th, from 3rd to 6th and 7th, from 4th to 8th, 6th to 9th and 7th to 10th. The chocolates can be passed from one classroom to another only when chocolates are distributed to every student in the previous classroom. So first you will finish this and then pass on the chocolates here. Okay. So likewise, if you finish in class 4th, then only you will move on to class 8th. There are 900 chocolates and an equal number is sent through each route from the office. So it means that these values are 300 each. Then further it says that the chocolate sent in other routes need not be equal. So it, it need not be equal to this and it need not be equal to this. So only in this route, the number of chocolates sent is equal. Each student gets exactly one chocolate. So that means there are total of 900 students. It takes one second per student to distribute the chocolates. So if there are 160 students, it will take 160 seconds. The time taken to move from the office to the classes and from one class to another is 30 seconds. So the time taken from this place to this place is 30 and this place to this place is 30, this place to this place is 30. So there are a couple of questions related to the distribution time. Okay. So now we will look at the questions and answer them. The first question says, if the number of students in class 9th, 9th is not less than 50, what is the maximum number of chocolates that can come to class 7th? Okay. So first of all, let us do one thing. Let's put this 50, uh, we will put it later. First, let's do one thing that uh, these other chocolates that are coming to these classes and we know the number of chocolates that are, that will go out of these classes. So 300, 160 distributed. So 140 will be distributed in these two routes. Similarly, 120 distributed. So 180 will be distributed in these two routes. 300 chocolates, 180 coming to this place. 120 will be distributed in these two routes. Okay. Now, uh, the question asks that the number of chocolates, number of students in class 9th is not less than 50. So let's put it 50. Now, uh, one thing that one might do is we have to find the maximum number of chocolates that can come to class 7th. So, one possibility that people can make mistake is in order to maximize that people can make it 10, 10, 10 each and find the maximum value. Okay. So, uh, let's do this calculation also. So, we have 300, 440, 440 in these 7 classes all together. Okay. But if you go by this logic, what will happen is so, uh, like if you go by this logic, this is 100, 150, 180, you get 260, right? Maximum you can think of is 260. But we need to keep the constraint that class 7th is receiving only from this route. Okay. So, and in these two routes combined, the maximum is 120 only. So, we cannot have 260 chocolates distributed here. So, this was just uh, uh, a bogus data which will not help here. We will have to apply this logic that a total of 120, we need to find maximum chocolates that can come to class 7th. Okay, so maximum that can come here. So can we have all 120 chocolates coming to this class? Yes, may be possible. Okay, so like if you put all 120 coming to this class, no chocolate will be distributed here. So we can have 100 chocolates in class 7th and 20 here. 120 done. Okay. So if you took all 120 in this route and zero in this route, we can possibly have 120 here. Okay. We need to distribute uh, like minimum 50 here. Is it possible? Yes. We are not distributing any chocolate through this route, but we need to have 130 here. So we can distribute 130 through this route. So this condition is possible. So maximum we can have is 
120 coming to class 7th it is not saying that chocolates distributed in class 7th it says that how many can come to class 7th so that is 120 so we can uh, have all these 120 chocolates coming to class 7th no chocolate going in this route and then we can have 130 chocolates here so that the demand of class 9th is also met and then we can subsequently uh, satisfy the condition of other routes okay so that is the first question next is what is the earliest time in seconds from the beginning by which the chocolates are distributed in class 8th so we need to find the earliest time of distributing to class 8th okay so if you have to distribute to the to class 8th in the earliest possible time try to give the least number here so try to give 10 here and 10 here okay so it is quite much possible that if you put 10 here the rest goes in this route so which is perfectly fine so now we will take 30 seconds for this time 160 seconds then 30 seconds here okay then uh, 10 seconds here okay 10 seconds here and 30 seconds here so that is the earliest possible time in which the chocolates are distributed in class 8 from the beginning so we need to count from the beginning so we have 30 into 390 90 plus this is 180 270 seconds next question says what is the maximum time uh, <coughs> in which the chocolates can be distributed in class fifth so we have to distribute chocolates in class fifth and we need to find the maximum time taken to distribute in this class now the thing here is it is inside the class inside this particular class so we are not concerned how much time does it take from here so basically it is asking the max students here okay so we have to maximize the number of students in class fifth let us put the minimum possible values in all other classes so we have 440 here okay so if we put a 10 10 10 10 so we have put 140 so can we have 300 as the maximum okay so this gives us 300 as the maximum but we will look at this constraint also that number of chocolates through different routes okay so uh, if we have 10 plus 20 30 students here so 90 chocolates go into this route okay so uh, 80 plus 10 90 gets distributed okay so this is fully satisfied now we need to distribute 20 chocolates in this route 10 plus 10 20 so we will give 20 chocolates here so 120 will come here now all this 90 has been distributed so we do not need any chocolate from this route so all 180 will go in this route so 120 plus 180 we can have 300 chocolates here so maximum in class 5th is 300 okay next question is if the number of students in classroom 7th is 50 find the maximum possible number of students in class 4th okay so let's see that what can be the maximum number in class 4th if class 7th is 50. So one constraint is like, of course, we'll put 50 here. Now, is it possible to have, uh, is it uh, not depending on this? So let's see this thing. Again, it is similar to the first question. See, we have to have, we have to find the maximum possible number of students in class 4th. Okay, so if you have to find the maximum possible number, we see that only one route is coming to class 4th and that has a maximum capacity of 140. Okay, so we cannot have, uh, we cannot get additional students from other routes. Like for example, in the previous question, we did class 5th. Since class 5th was getting chocolates from this route and this route, so we can uh, rely on these two sources but class 4th is getting students the chocolates from only this route so irrespective of the number of students in class 7th it is again uh, not relevant we have to rely only in this route okay so if there are 140 so we put 10 here so can we have 130 here okay so that is the question we need to check so 140 we distributed all 140 through this route so no chocolate in this route okay so uh, we need to check that if other demands can be met or not if that is not met then we will have to reduce it from 130 so 50 plus 20 70 is needed in this route so 70 comes here 50 will come here right now this demand is 80 plus 10 90 
So 90, 40 is coming from this root. So we will have uh, 50 is coming from this root. So we can have 40 here. So it meets the demand. So all these demands are met. Okay, so we can say that this number can be maximum 130. Now let's come to the last question, which says that both classes 5th and 5th and 9th have equal number of students n. What can be the maximum possible value of n? So first we will do is we will find the maximum possible value and see the constraints if we can meet the demands. So we have 440 uh, to be distributed. We need to maximize these two. So let us put minimum everywhere. Okay. So this is 100, 130. So we are left with 310 divided by 2 is 155. But the number is a multiple of 10. So we can take maximum 150. Okay. So now let us put 150 and see if conditions are met. Okay. So we need to increase uh, 10 because uh, 150, 150 will give us only 300. We need to increase 10. So let us put 10 anywhere. Okay. We can increase, you can increase 10 here, here, here. It does not matter. Whichever way, uh, place you want to put 10 because ultimately we have to maximize this. Right. So we put 150. Now we will do a check because in these roots and network questions, you have to do optimization along with the constraint. Now, in this route, we have 120. Okay. 30 get distributed in this route. So 30 in this route and 90 will come along this route. Now we need 180, 80 plus 150, 230, a total of 230. 90 is coming from this route. So 140 should come from this route. Okay. So this, all these demands are met. Now 140 means we need to send 40 here. Okay. And in this route, 10 plus 20, 30. So this 30 is being sent. That means 110 through this route. So 110 plus 40, 150. So all conditions are satisfied. Like we are able to provide chocolates to each of these, uh, each of these classrooms. Okay. So that means the maximum number that we can have in these two classrooms is 150 each. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you loved solving this set. So please don't forget to like this video.